Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, part three of this, didn't really plan on it. And I've got a video on how to do this. So this is our test piece, and if you didn't watch part two, then we're gonna test it. And I said in that video that normally, when things fit together perfectly, uh, they're not gonna be tight. And I didn't uh, test his other one, but you have two choices. So you have two different kinds of finger joints. These are female and these are males. So it's easier, in, especially in this case, it's easier to change the, the males than the females. So we're gonna change the, so you would still have your same test, you still have your same female, but we need to change this a little bit. Now to do this, we have to get it top dead center or at a right angle. So I'm gonna hold down the control button and draw a straight line. I'm gonna have it snap to that. And I'm gonna grab this, change the rotation. And the good thing about it, your box is already lined up. And remember that we only have to do this to three of the six pieces. So you would do, you know, one of each. So we don't need that one. We need that one and uh, these two. So I'm just going to separate them. So you'll know that you need to do these. But I want to do it on my test first. Because I don't want to have to cut out too much stuff. So we've got this at a, at a right angle or at the, at the angle now. And the good thing about it with the males, we don't have to do this because they're already there. We're gonna set our nudge factor on my normal curve, and every laser is different. My normal curve is 0 0.003. But we're gonna change half of this at a time, so I'm gonna make my curve or my nudge 0 0.001. And that's why you're gonna do this on a test piece. And then grab with the shape tool these two nodes and hit the hit the top arrow key one time. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's make, before we do that, let's make an example of this. And let's move it out of the way. So here's the old one. And you might, well, you wouldn't want to keep it. So we're going to grab these two nodes and we're going to use the up arrow key that little bit of mount. We're gonna take this and use the down arrow key. Now, we're gonna make this one black and we're gonna keep the other one in red and we're gonna grab this corner and put it right there. And you can see the difference. So this new one is gonna be that much thicker. I mean, 0 0.001 will make a big difference in your tightness. So then I would go with that if your test worked, and we'll just kind of, well, I'd have to bring it, well, you know what, we can bring it back to zero. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this node. No, can't use that node, because we didn't do it that way. But I'm gonna use that node and click it up there and see the difference. It just takes a little bit. And then if that fits, you want it, you don't want to have to bang it with a rubber hammer to get in there because you could split the wood. But you want it tight where it'll kind of pop together without gluing. And then when you glue it, you can pop it together. And on something like this, and I'll put a link to that video, uh, to this video about a product that I use called uh, surgical tubing where you could wrap this in surgical tubing to let the glue dry. I'll try to find that video and leave it as a link because it's it's a lot easier than trying to get, you know, little bitty clamps around here to hold it while you're gluing. And if you, if you have your joint right and it pops to it, you don't really need to clamp it. The surgical tubing is really when it's a little bit loose and they're gonna fall out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.